Is it the right time to buy or sell the QQQ ETF? In this video, we will be delving deeper into the QQQ ETF. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, February 15, 2024. Today, we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. It's crucial not to miss any updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and get free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 5, 2024, our system has ranked QQQ as a buy candidate, with a strong score of 4.32. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. It's worth noting that the stock has experienced a significant gain of 9.52%. This means that, on average, it has delivered a daily return of 0.33% since being identified as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating potential for further growth. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 12.82% change over the next three months, with potential returns ranging from 8.98% to 14.33%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 36.34% change over the next year, with potential returns ranging from 18.99% to 37.72%. This suggests a price range of $517.04 to $598.43 after one year. Our latest daily update for QQQ brings good news, a green day on Thursday for the QQQ ETF, with a gain of 0.298%. The QQQ ETF price increased by 0.298% on the last trading day, Thursday, February 15, 2024. It went up from $433.22 to $434.51. Throughout the day, the ETF fluctuated by 0.85%, reaching a low of $431.33 and a high of $434.98. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in six instances and has seen an overall increase of 2.99% in the past two weeks. On the last day, the volume decreased by 6 million shares, with a total of 38 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $16.64 billion. It's important to note that a decrease in volume on higher prices can indicate a potential divergence and might serve as an early warning for possible changes in the coming days. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price for the ETF was $439.14, while the lowest price was $285.19. Currently, the price is 1.05% or $4.63 below the 52-week high of $439.14, which is also the all-time high for the ETF. Today, we'll be looking at the signals for the QQQ ETF. The ETF has been showing mixed signals lately. On Friday, February 9, 2024, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, and since then it has fallen by 0.581%. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there are also buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, which suggests a positive outlook for the stock. Moreover, the short-term average is currently above the long-term average, indicating a general buy signal. If the price corrects downwards, there will be support at $433.35 and $418.49. However, if the ETF breaks below these levels, it will issue sell signals. It's worth noting that despite gaining prices, the volume fell during the last trading day, which creates a divergence between volume and price. This could be seen as an early warning sign. Therefore, it's important to closely monitor the QQQ ETF. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator is currently showing a sell signal. Pivots also indicate a sell signal, which occurred 5 days ago. The Bollinger Bands indicator, on the other hand, gave a buy signal 16 days ago. 
Looking at the short-term moving average, it provided a sell signal four days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average has been signaling a sell for the past 31 days. When we analyze the 12-month chart, we observe the following. The short moving average gave a buy signal 29 days ago. The long-term moving average also gave a buy signal 72 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 59 days ago. Don't forget to visit our website at stockinvest.us to discover more valuable signals. Today we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for QQQ. QQQ, the popular ETF, has found support from accumulated volume at $428.55. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction when the support is being tested. In terms of movement, QQQ tends to have controlled and predictable fluctuations. Thanks to its good liquidity, the risk associated with this stock is considered very low. Taking a closer look at recent data, we see that over the last day, the ETF moved $3.65 between its high and low points, representing a change of 0.85%. Looking at the past week, we observe a daily average volatility of 1.09%. Before we explore the optimal trading levels for QQQ, let's begin by understanding some crucial fundamental data. Firstly, let's discuss the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important metric compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio may indicate lower expectations for the company's future or an undervalued stock, suggesting a potential opportunity for buying. Today, we'll be exploring potential day trading levels for QQQ. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ is at $435.34. If you don't currently hold any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. However, if you already own the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the other hand, if we encounter a downward movement, QQQ will encounter its first support level at $428.55. If this support level holds, it could serve as a favorable entry point, as we anticipate a rebound in the near future. Our recommended stop loss for this ETF is set at $419.36, which represents a decrease of 3.49%. This ETF exhibits low daily movements, making it a low-risk investment option. We have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred four days ago. Is the QQQ ETF a good buy? Based on several short-term signals and a positive overall trend, we believe there is a buying opportunity for the QQQ ETF in the short term. However, our analysis indicates that the current price is overvalued, considering the volatility and recent movements. For trading on Friday, February 16, we anticipate the QQQ ETF to open with a decrease of $0.90, cents, starting at $433.61. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of potential financial loss. It is advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions related to securities. Please note that StockInvest.us is not a reliable source for making investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're taking a closer look at the current stock market. We value your opinion so please share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think will be the target for the ETF? Before we dive in, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Now let's get started with our analysis.